Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of VVV VVV. Yeah, it's a weird name, but <laughs> this game is awesome. It's an indie game that I got from the Speed Gamers Humble Bundle in their last uh, marathon. I love this game. So much fun and uh, this is pretty much going to be replacing Starfy due to that mishap you've probably seen in the other video. But yeah, I gotta work out the emulation stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to do so. But in the meantime, this game is an awesome replacement. Looks like an Atari 20 or 2600 game. I was gonna see 2400 for some reason. Uh, but believe me, this game could not be made on the 2600. It's, it's just the game's art style. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? Um, no, you've hit some kind of interference. Uh, something's wrong, we're going to crash! Evacuate! Oh no! Everyone off the ship! This shouldn't be happening! It's black. So black. Whew! That was scary. At least we all escaped, right guys? Oh, uh, um, guys? Oh, oh, sad face. Use the arrow keys or was to move. Okay, got it? Good. Press action to flip, which is spacebar. I'm using a controller here, so my controls are different. I'm using Joy 2 key to control my, uh, I mean to configure my controllers. And as you see at the bottom of the screen there, every room has its own little name. Welcome aboard, Conundrum, Solitude, and uh, oh, I wonder why the ship teleported me here alone. I hope everyone else got out okay. I hope so too. Uh, these C's right here, they're checkpoints if you touch them and then die. He'll pop out back at the last checkpoint. Leap of faith! The traffic jam! <laughs> this game is really weird, but it's really, really fun. Uh, yeah, these things will kill you. In fact, any of those sorts of moving objects will kill you. Just saying. Okay. Uh, as you can tell, just gotta flip your way through the game. There's no jumping in this game. You flip. Press action to flip. That's the game. That, that's all the game's controls. Spacebar to flip, enter to uh, check things, and uh, left and right to move. Uh, this right here is a secret down here. It's a secret to nobody. Uh, yeah, okay. There's a shiny trinket, there are 20 of them, and collecting all 20 will unlock something, so I'll be getting all of them. This, ah! Well, that's fine, actually, because I ended up back at the checkpoint. This game is really hard. Really, really, whoops, it's <laughs> really, really hard to get everything in the game. Trust me on this. Okay, press enter to activate terminal. Uh, personal log. Almost everyone has been evacuated from the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days, once our research has been completed. Alright, look out for those somethings. I don't know what the heck a lot of these things are, but there's, they're ridiculous. It's like, what, are they, what is this? It's, I don't know what it is, but it's there and you gotta avoid it. <laughs> and these, these sorts of platforms, they dissolve, see that? E -e. And uh, you can reset the screen by just leaving there. Run! Yeah. Alright. Starts out pretty easy. Yes, I can hear you! I can hear you! Pilot, is that you? Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh no! I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? I'm on some sort of space station. It seems pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. This is the map, by the way, which you could also check to press with, uh, by pressing enter. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. It's right there. Flashing pink square. I can't teleport you back, but if you can find the teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. Alright. So, we're looking for a teleporter. T is our teleporter on the map. Okay, I'll try to find one. All right. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. And uh, can I check any of these? No, I guess I can't check these computers. Oh, it's too sad. Can I check this? No, I can't. See, I'm pressing enter to check. That's why I'm getting the map there. Yeah, I guess I can't check that stuff. Oh boy. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, this game starts out pretty easy, but gets really, really hard later on. I mean, blistering hard. The yes men. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh yeah, there's a trinket off to the right side. Gotta get all the trinkets, gotta unlock everything. Uh, oh, it's one another, another one of those shiny things. 
probably don't really need it, but it might be nice to take it back to the ship to study. Yes, I do need it. I must. Must 100% everything. Obsessively. I got it. Let's see if I can get back. Oh, pfft. I was going to say, let's see if I can get back through here without dying, but that didn't happen. No, no, that didn't happen at all. <laughs> oh, what, what did I do that for? <laughs> e. All right, carefully. Do not. Good. No, there we go. Alright, it's, it's 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 something to get used to along the way, but you get used to the game really quick. Oh, jeez! <laughs> the sensible room, why is this the sensible room? I don't know. Oh, think fast! Driller! Dodge, oh, dodge. dodge off to the left and then to the center and then back to the left and ow! <laughs> the game is really fast paced too, by the way, in case you didn't realize that, so it's very twitch based even though... It, I wouldn't say it's entirely Twitch-based, because some parts are absolutely unfair. <laughs> and what did that... Uh, what did that say? I didn't really pay much attention. Well, I can always check back in the recording. It, I mean, it, it uh, disappeared before I finished talking. Ah. I guess that's the Mad Keru. Maybe. I don't know. But I gotta keep going. I gotta, gotta find a teleporter. Gotta escape. Oh, I found a teleporter! Woo! A teleporter! I can get back to, to the ship with this! Sweet! Alright, enter the teleport. Whew! Captain! Level complete! Woo! And what? I didn't really rescue anyone. This is this is back at the ship, and this is where I'm supposed to get the people. You'll see what I mean later. So, uh, Doctor, have you had you had any idea what caused the tra crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no! But I think I, we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. Really, we, I mean, we really don't know anything about this place. Our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost. Or in danger. That's just ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> just keeps warping out. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate with us. We can't pick up their signal, and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. So, what do we do? We need to find them. Head into the dimension, and look for anywhere they might have ended up. Alright. Okay, where do we start? Well, I've been, been trying to find them with the ship scanners. It's not, not working, but I did find something. Hmm? Whoa, lots of question marks. These points show our scans as having high energy patterns. There's a good chance they're teleporters, which means they're probably built near something important. They could be a very good place to start looking. Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be right here if you need any help. Alright, let's chat with them. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, Doctor. Where do I begin? By the way, the, the text boxes, the color of the text boxes indicate who is talking. So right now, I'm the one talking here, and then it goes over to the professor here. Remember that you can press enter to check where you are on the map. Look for areas where the rest of the crew might be. If you get lost, you can get back to the ship from any teleporter. And don't worry, we'll find everyone. I sure hope so. Everything will be okay. I really do hope so. Uh, are you doing okay, Captain? I'm worried about for for did for digris. I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry. They'll show up. Here, have a lollipop. Sweet! <laughs> um, oh, he's got a lot of new dialogue to say here, doesn't he? Um, okay, I, I have exhausted the dialogue. Uh, ship radio, status broadcasting. Uh, guess that's the map. Uh, what's this one? What's this one? They're both maps, or maybe they're nothing? <laughs> uh, DSS Soli, ship navigation controls. Error, error. Cannot isolate dimensional coordinates. Interference detected. Well, that's that's the bother. Um, over here, uh, I already have all this stuff unlocked, actually. These are all songs that you can unlock for um, getting the trinkets. And I'm not going to go through these because I don't want to spoil the songs. Uh, this seems like a good place to store those shiny things. Victoria loves to study the interesting things we find in our adventures. Uh, I hope she's okay. Me too. Me too. You'll find her right here once you actually find her. But uh, once the trinkets are here, you can't like...
check them or anything like that. They are just there. They're five per slot there. All right, let's go down. Let's go around. Ooh, teleporter. We've only got these two teleporters here. Uh, you select by pressing left and right. See, it highlights with the red and is flashing. I'm on the yellow area there. If I go back over to the pink there, I can, yeah, I can warp wherever I please, wherever there's a teleporter. Wow, that thing just whips me around like crazy. How does he even survive that? I don't know. Maybe it's the odd dimensional gravitational force or something like that. Anyway, let's head out into space and look out. I mean, look for the other crew members. We gotta find them somewhere. Uh, this map, pretty dang big, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and you can fly everywhere. It's it's so much fun to do this. <laughs> this the whole game is just plain fun all around. Except maybe a couple of spots which are overly difficult, but you'll see when I get there. Anyway, I'm looking for stuff to collect, like trinkets and people to get back to the ship. I'm just kind of wandering around here. Here's a teleporter. Uh, we, it sort of works as a save point and the checkpoint. Uh, by the way, if you, um, uh, if you go here in your map screen and press right, you can see who you've rescued. Uh, the map, of course. Your stats, you can see how many times you've died, how much time you've played, uh, the trinkets you found, and of course you can save your game here. Uh, but I'm gonna save only at the ends of parts. Well, actually, it's gonna save automatically when I get to uh, teleporters and whatnot. Uh, anyway, we are entering another dimension. Oh! Another dimension. I was gonna show you that this bounces you automatically. These laser beams like like things. Yeah, and you gotta sort of control yourself to get through this. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. I will keep going. I can zoom through these things like nobody's business. Well, sort of. Even though this game is going to make me eat my words later. <laughs> it turns out the key to stabilizing this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. Though it looks like that's just been a temporary solution, at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. Oh man. Oh boy. Uh, what's up here? Uh, young man, it's worth the challenge. <laughs> oh! Must get all the trinkets. Okay, here we go. This is tricky. Got it. And you notice that you have to pass through a checkpoint there. So that means you absolutely have to get back through. Ah! Have to go back through this backwards. Ow! <laughs> there we go. Now I gotta flip. And there we go. Alright, got that trinket. We are progressing. They call him Flipper. <laughs> This game is so silly, but it's so much fun. By the way, there's a little bit of play when you hit that laser beam, so there's like... Like, you don't automatically flip, you kind of like drift along that line as you flip. Yeah, it's hard to describe unless you actually play the game. You've also got a little bit of forward momentum to take into account, like when you let go of the D-pad, he still moves a little bit as well. So, oh, That sucked. Oh, I'm doing it too early. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to read that. Uh, is this just... Oh, okay. Didn't, I wasn't close to it. Syntax error. <laughs> oh. Gotta get through obstacle course of death. Brought to you by the letter G. <laughs> okay. Uh, over here, you just want to hold right. I changed my... <laughs> it's just so silly. All these... All these boxes to read. It's... Half of the fun is just reading those uh, text boxes there, actually. Well, at least my opinion. <laughs> okay, maybe it's more fun to have, the, the, you know, the, ah! the gameplay is more fun than anything. Uh, but you, you get what I'm saying here, and that the, the text boxes are also fun in their own way. Alright, gonna get through! Okay, we're making it. We are making it. Oh! Oh, okay, we're safe. We are safe. Sort of. Uh, whoop! Uh, oh, there's something at the end of this, isn't there? Gotta find my way through here. Research notes. Access to the control center is still possible through the main atmospheric filters. And then it gets marked on the map there. It's just uh, something that you should be aiming for, basically. But this game's so complicated to get around that the marks on the map don't really help you all that much. <laughs> I'm just, tell just telling you that right now. Uh, but... Uh, you should, like, if you notice that you're coming towards an area, you should aim for that area that, that was marked on your map. 
Uh, so yeah, just uh, just mentioning that now. I don't want to spoil too many things here. I just want to mention that for you here. Anyway, no, I'm not that exhausted yet. So I've still got a little bit more to go here. I've got to get those drink. Ow, pain. Get those trinkets. Eat. Whoa. It's a feel thing. It's a feel thing. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean about the play on the lasers? The laser flippers? Yeah, you gotta hit them. There we go. And of course, they put me where a checkpoint is just to make me redo this. Oh, that was successful. More successful than I thought it would be, actually. <laughs> yep. Spike strip deployed. <laughs> Yeah, all these. No, not the squares. Not the squares. So the either squares or diamonds. They're flipping, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I want to hit the checkpoint. No, please. There you go. <laughs> You're so speedy. It's kind of hard to. Ow. It's kind of hard to. Kind of hard to control that sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the designer apologized. That, well, that means all is forgiven. For these spikes of death. Um, there's a secret up there that I'm gonna want to get. Yep, yep, stop. Come on. Up, whoop, boy. Okay, checkpoint. Now, do this and go around there like that. It's really, really hidden. Playing foosball, a difficult core, a living dead end. <laughs> Love the names of these places, but yeah, anyway. Uh, I just, you just go through them so fast, though, it's hard for me to read them off. Anyway, there's the secret that I was looking for here. A shiny trinket in this rainbowy rainbow area. I'd also like to get all the um, um, map squares as long as I'm here by flipping back and forth. I'd like to get as many of the map squares as I possibly can, if at all possible. Just keep flipping. It's it's kind of dizzying, but keep flipping. <laughs> Actually, I think I got all of them. I'll see if I can get back without dying. Oh, oh I didn't. <laughs> well, luckily, there's a checkpoint right here. All right. Let's play some foosball! Yeah! Alright. Now this one's a lot harder. Ow, pain. Yeah, how should I do this? Like, nope. Gotta give myself a little play. Ow, pain. I should do. Ow. Maybe I should start from the bottom and go up. Ow. Up and to the right. Yep. This is what I mean about the game's difficulty being hard sometimes. You can sort of kind of land. Well, actually, no, you can't land on the, the spike things, I mean, the blocks, because it's just going to flip you back to where you were anyway, and yeah, let's try it. Oh, oh, oh there we go, that's how it's done. Uh, whoop, whoop, up. Whoop, up. Gotta time myself correctly. Yeah, up. Uh, you can do this without using that one on the end there, but it's kind of difficult to do, so I like that. Ah, hey, 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 on that last one. I smell ozone. Oh, I found someone! Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay. I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. And so he does, during the transition screen. What? I didn't understand any of that! <laughs> oh. Well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Oh, really? Okay then. And everything is alright, because there's a teleporter right here. And this will teleport us both back over to the ship. Yeah! Level complete! Yeah! Crew member rescued. Three remain. Alright, here we are. Now if we go over to the trinket room, there it is, Victoria. I'm so glad to be back. The lab was so dark and scary, I didn't like it at all. Hey Captain, I found this in the lab. A shiny trinket! Yeppers! You get a shiny trinket for talking to her. Well, by continually talking to her. Any idea what it does? Sorry, I don't know. They seem important, though. Maybe something will happen if we find them all. Any signs of Professor Vitelli? Vitelli? Why am I having issues pronouncing these names? They're so complicated. There's so many ways to pronounce them. <laughs> Sorry, not yet. I hope he's okay. He's in... Nope, same thing. Okay, now if you leave the screen, come back. Oh, wait, wait, was the trinket already put in place? Huh, I mean, maybe it was. Wasn't really paying much attention, I guess. Uh, to the trinkets... Uh, okay. Uh, nothing, okay. So, Alright. I think that is good for first part, if you ask me. Welcome back, Captain. I think Victoria is quite happy to be back on the ship. She really doesn't like adventuring. She gets very homesick. Uh, well, let's, let's see. Oh, 
Dr. Didgeris is alright, so if you can find him, he'll give you a big help fixing the ship. Uh, alright, as I was saying, I think this is good for a first part, if you ask me. So I'm going to save my game and end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.